Hey y'all, welcome back to Vanessa Moon Tarot. My name is Vanessa Moon. Oh, my hair's sticking up. Okay. So, Wagwan Cancer. Yes. I missed y'all. Okay. So, I did a meditative session for y'all, like I always do. And I got you guys like, it's like you're in heaven or something. It's like you just you feeling real good if somebody if somebody done stirred you up the pot with y'all like you you like somebody mm-hmm mm-hmm and you think this person is real special I got a lot of pearls pearls like a like a delicate pearl this person is like oh my god I found a rare and special priceless thing that's the energy I was getting and like rolling around in a lot of sexual energy a lot of heat okay um but not in like a nasty way in like a delicate way like um I don't know something divine about this like it's very heavenly celestial always celestial with you guys it's moon energy y'all have um yes very delicate very soft very pure very innocent um very docile like you you have stumbled upon someone or something that's completely taken you aback you're like, what is this? I've never met anyone like this before, anything like this before. So let's see what let's see what's going on with you, Cancer, for the month of July or whenever. Birthday time! Happy birthday! I gotta do an extra read for y'all. Okay, Cancers, four cups right now. All right, despondent, looking at something and wondering. You looking at what you got, thinking, well, what's wrong? With what I got? Don't want what's being offered because something is being offered. The Ace of Pentacles here. Or Star. Yeah, somebody's looking at you. Okay, that's the other person then. Alright, hold on. Let's see what else we got. Let's give me the person here. Give me Cancer's person. Somebody did hit you up. Wow. Wow, all these fours too, Cancer. Alright, so this will be a big month for you guys because there's a lot of energies moving through your um Wow, through your zodiac sign my goodness so i'm expecting to see some big changes here okay so first off we got the cancer showing up with its four of cups the star card and the ace of freaking pentacles rock out cancer so somebody's looking at you like a whole just a whole counterpart energy mm -hmm. they're looking at you like you are just it you are everything they wish for but you're just like do I want this? Do I want this opportunity? <laughs> you could be the one offering this person too. Let me see. Yeah, actually, you could be the one offering this person. Yeah, they're probably looking at you. You really want somebody. Mm -hmm. You really want somebody. That's what I'm getting at. You really want this person's attention. You think they're a goddess or a god. Like, you're like, they're so beautiful. They're so unique. They're so special. This is exactly that energy I was getting. Like, the pearl, laying on a bed of pearls. And, like, I didn't know how comfortable that would be. But it was very pretty visual. Um, yeah, and, like, and you're, you want to offer this, this star, this wish fulfillment, somebody that is just, like, a dream come true. You want to offer them a solid opportunity to be together. But you're not sure if they'll accept it, okay? Maybe they're not giving you the signals. Or or you're not, mm, yeah, you're not sure if you want to accept it. Honestly, I see y'all both on the same page. You know why I say that? Because both of you have similar energies, and then also in the pre-shop book, two cups came out. And I saw two people in the, in, the, in the meditative session. I did. I saw two people laying there together. So it's like you're on the same exact page with this person. It's like... Okay, so you're like, this is a dream come Is Ooh, I got it. It's like, is this too good to be true? You know? It's, it's too good to be true. You're looking at it and you're like, I don't know if I should take this offer because it just seems too freaking good. It's too good. It's too good, especially because you could have really been in a low, a very low place in the past. It required a lot of healing. You could have gotten through a major cycle. This is after the tower here, so it's like you, something could have really just fell apart, and you just, you're just caught on some f love, and then here comes somebody to make you all cancerian again. <laughs> And you're like, oh, do I take it? And here's the other person. And so the person is just as hesitant as you are. It's like they're waiting to hear back or they sent you a message and, they, and they, they're, they're like, okay. So it's like 
they want to offer you an ace of cups this is the ace of cups the page of wands and the four of pentacles so it's like yeah this person you got an ace and a four they got an ace you they got an ace and a four so like you're both kind of smearing each other okay um like i said it's giving me counterpart energy and i don't even know why um but yeah like you're 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 aligned you're aligned this person is aligned with you this person is aligned with you you have the same morals and values and the same kind of mission goals hopes dreams a lot of commonalities you're passionate about the same kind of shit mm -hmm. um and then this person is like all right i really do like you cancer i want to give you i want to offer you my love i'm really excited about you but somebody's holding back maybe you're both holding i'm seeing again mirroring energy like they're just nervous there's they're not sure if they should open their heart right now. They're not sure about... This person is, is guarded. They're guarding their heart with the Four of Pentacles. Um, and their coins, but more so they're just guarding their, their personal stability. Like maybe all they have left is just their heart and their little coins. And they're just like, listen, my heart got stomped on. I'm trying to rebuild right now. This is the rebuild mode. I'm not really sure if I'm open to love. Yes, I feel love for cancer especially ex they're dumb excited with the page of wands they might have told you already how they feel that's probably this um pinnacle that was offered but i'm looking at you look at this person like but they ain't got much to offer but you don't know that yet cancer this is new love i'm see this is this screams new all right so how does cancer feel about this person going into july how does feel cancer feel about this person going into july how does cancer feel about this person going into july All right, you got five of cups, um, seven of pentacles in reverse, and the hierophant. Woo, child! She said, I'm done looking. That's it. I'm, I'm not going to miss out on this. I'm not going to miss out on this. I'm, but I'm also not going to budge unless they're serious. Because things are changing for you, Cancer. You're starting to have faith again in love. And it's like, all right. Because I'm looking at, I'm reading for somebody that lost faith in love that was in a dark place. Things just kept going bad. I'm seeing that. Not meeting people that truly align with you. That is why. And it always blew up in your face because maybe you jumped in too fast and now you're trying to take it slow. Okay? Because I'm seeing you really not budging. You're like, no, I don't want to miss out on this. But like, I also, I'm, I want to make sure it's solid. I want to make sure we really, we really match up. I want to make sure that me and this person you know, we, sh we, we actually, this is like, I'm going to take the time to ask you if you want kids. I'm going to take the time to ask you if you want to get married. I'm going to take the time to ask you where you want to live, how you want to raise those kids. Like cancer is like, I'm dotting the I's and crossing the fucking T's this time. Um, sorry, cousin guys. Um, yeah. So here's your person. Your person got the strength in reverse, the hermit and the lovers. They're going crazy over this. They want to answer. This person want you to buy none. Um, they want to answer, Cancer. They want to answer in the month of July. They want to answer. It's like they're not, they're tired of waiting. They can't hold it in anymore. They feel so connected and drawn to you. They've gone and thought about it. You're the one. You are the one. You're the one. Look at this the counterpart energy with this lover's card. Because you get the lovers, the strength in reverse, and the hermit. The hermit is taking time out to go deep within and think about what? This super, this super strong, powerful connection that they're just drawn to. It's, they can't even, they, they know it's not a choice with their heart. It's a choice with their head at this point. And they're not taming themselves or holding back anymore. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. Leo energy here. Virgo energy here. And Taurus energy here. And Aquarius energy. How does Cancer feel? How does Cancer feel? How does Cancer feel? So, Cancer got Nine of Wands in reverse. All right, you're giving up. <laughs> you're super frustrated, though. Why? Why is Cancer so frustrated? At least coming out reverse. And I didn't even reverse them, so that means they wanted to be that way. Six of Cups. Ooh, you're not budging because you're really stuck on the bad things that happened to you in the past, Cancer. That's not good. That's not good. King of Wands. You must have dealt with players. Mm -hmm. um, so, Nine of Wands in reverse. It's like you're just kind of giving up because you feel like 
you're just stuck on all the old things that happened to you and it's like you're this hangman is it's 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 you're gonna get through this because the hangman's in in the per the, the correct position which i don't want to say upright or not because he hangs upside down but it's like spirit kind of want you to pause okay spirit wants you to pause because they want you to look at things from a different perspective they want you to um you know they want you to really think about this they don't this is somebody that's brought to you i'm seeing right here from the divine and they want they want you to they want you to heal that negative those negative um this is specifically inner child trauma like you need to heal your inner child trauma cancer okay because there's something that makes you give up before you like see everything you need to see and so it's like you're staying stuck because you're scared now but you're still not seeing everything you need to see it's like you gave up but you're stuck i'm seeing that here because you have the nine of the nine of wands are reverse, right? So when the nine of wands reverse, when it's upright, it's like you're, you're you still got fight left in you. When it's reverse, you ain't got no fight left in you. So it's like you have no fight. You're settling on the fact that shit just doesn't work out for you, and you're just staying stuck, and you're failing to download the messages that you need to download in order to become enlightened, in order to heal this part of you. And and maybe that's why you're misreading. You need to do inner child work, okay? And um, you know. Definitely, each is going to be different for each of you guys with inner child work because we all have different things to face. I would definitely recommend booking a private reading for that. Go deep into inner child work. I did it for three years of myself. Damn near cleared all my chakras. Like, it was hard. But now I have a method, right? And it works. So definitely book a private reading if you want to know more about that. I was not something I would really be comfortable going with going to on YouTube because it's so different for everyone. But um, definitely, yeah, you need to work on some inner child work here because it's like you're going to keep meeting the same type of people and getting this stuck energy and not getting far over the hump with people because you, you're, you're not you're failing to recognize why things went wrong in the past. You're failing to recognize why you got hurt, like that the wounds are deeper than probably just whatever this person did. And it's like you give up before you get to that point where you dig deep enough to figure out what it is and release it. Okay, because a hangman is all about sacrifice. What are you? What parts of you are going to sacrifice in order to get this relationship? If you're not willing to sacrifice or do the inner work, okay, if you're going to give up when the when the going gets tough, when the mem the bad memories and the painful thoughts get get started, you can't have a divine counterpart, right? Because it's you have to be your energy has to be clear in order to have your divine counterpart. Why does it have to be clear? Because you're going to go on mission together when you have a divine counterpart. You know, that's why you have so many commonalities. That's why you're drawn to them. And the fact that you're drawn to them in this lifetime means that this healing needs to be done. The, sac the hangman is literally the last card before the zodiac ends, right? It's the 12th house so it's the piscean card it's 12th house so it just means like you're really, really reviewing every all everything you've you know gone through and then the illusions and delusions of your psyche right the things you can no longer access from the front of your brain because you're gonna push them to the back of your brain that's what's coming up and they want you to let go of some of that shit because it's there's no it's, it's just taking up free rent in your head now like you could heal now you're older now you can heal your inner child you can hug your inner child and tell your inner child you love them and they will cry and they'll be healed and you won't have to deal with this shit no more but you have to dig deep you can't be scared to do it not if you want a real love not if you want this heavenly celestial divine counterpart love okay because ain't no room for no devil activity in there and that's exactly what lower energy is it's devil activity not because it's the devil but because it's trickery it's foolery it's fear-based actions and you can't have a divine counterpart when you're moving off fear you have to move off love right because it's a spiritual union and i know you want it because you got the hierophant here you got the you got the the star card so it means you're divinely guided right now to your person your person is aligning and you're aligning right but it's bringing up your worst fears but i want to tell you it's okay because it's like you can get you're at the home stretch energy you're at, you got all the nines and the hangman like you don't have that much work to do you just have to can't be afraid to cry it's so, it sucks but anyway this cancer season gonna bring it out of you Look at that, the devil for your person. Yep, they're bringing up all your insecurities. They're mirroring you. Mm -hmm. So they're probably not acting out how they want to act out now because you're triggering them and they're triggering you. And da, 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 da. But that's what it's about. That's what it's about. And it'd be the subtle things, you know? So this person, look at this. They're a workaholic. So whereas you don't want to put in the work, they're becoming a workaholic. I love it. Give me this, this person's energy, please, for cancer person. The energy for cancer's person. The emperor this person really likes you cancer 
All right, the Two of Swords, Knight of Swords. All right, so it's like they want to come in and tell you how they feel, but they feel blocked right now by the stalemate and indecision that's plaguing the connection. Okay, they're ready to take action. They're ready to manage the situation. They already feel drawn and pulled to you. They know what they want, but they feel like this is just getting to. I can tell you this person is a workaholic, by the way. The more you just detach, the more they work and the less that um, they come around. And that's not good. Um, so you have to you have to put the effort into working on yourself and then they will put the effort into working on this connection. OK, but I'm telling you right now, this person is a boss. This is your counterpart. OK, if it's not your counterpart, it's, it's very strong from some of you out there it really is. Because you got the emperor, the eight of pentacles, the two of swords and the devil right okay so this is just telling me this person works a whole, whole lot but when it comes to you they have this fear that you won't put in the effort and they don't want to put in the effort if you don't they feel they're scared it won't work they're scared it won't work they scared that you guys they scared they're scared that they have more invested in this connection than you do yeah they're also they also feel like something in you they feel like it's whatever it is about you it really scares them going forward like they're like all right i'm gonna take this big risk and try to be with cancer but it, this better be worth it like that's how they feel like because they're really scared to approach you like it's not about they're it's not that they're scared it's that they feel like it's taking a lot that's what I'm, that's what i'm getting it's taking a lot like like this person is busy this person um like i said they could work they could have a very prominent job a lot of work energy so this person is a provider basically they want to know if you're the type of person they should invest in okay because they have a lot to give i'm seeing that here they have a lot to give mm -hmm. so cancer um what should you do let's get you some advice because knight of swords they want to come and talk to you they want to they want to look into this situation they want to they have something on their chest what do they want to say to cancer I just, i'm curious what do they want to say to cancer nine of pentacles that you hold the high values in them. What else? What else? What else do they want to say to Cancer? High Priestess. So th th it's like they're following their internet, not saying anything. Okay. Okay, good. So it's like they want to tell you that they're really conflicted right now because in their mind, they feel like this situation it has so much potential and it could really go far with the death energy and with the nine of pentacles it's like you think maybe they want to end things and they're getting to the point where they want to and they're just being silent now because they don't want to fuck it up like they're at this point where they're like maybe if i just be quiet cancer will just come around and change how things are going and i'll get my wish fulfilled because this person is high value to me they think that you're really they, i'm getting that they think you're very quirky you're very sweet you're very um cute and goofy and they just they kind of just think you're like cute as a button and they just want to like kind of like hold you and take care of you and they feel like <sighs> there's this death energy around you though like you're still going through some major ending and you're not processing it properly and they're just going to be patient until they get their wish they're going to wait for you but it's like they already know look you got the high you got the higher fan and the, um high priestess they know this is a spiritual connection okay this is a twin plane connection they're gonna wait for you but they are on the brink of going and doing something else they are they're on the brink of maybe trying to meet someone else <clears throat> not because they want to but because <clears throat> excuse me they don't they sense the stagnancy and they don't know what to do about it they this person is kind of like it's like they haven't taken a huge action yet but they're not going to because they can they're too sensitive to you they don't want to upset you they feel like you're so conflicted on the inside they don't want to upset you so that's the kind of thing you have to look out for okay let's get some romance angels advice for my cancers cancer I haven't pulled these romance angels in a while. Honeymoon, Cancer. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Summertime could be really fun for y'all. Let's see. These cards are like, hmm. 
Let's see what they say though. What's the advice for Cancer? That's how you just enjoy yourself. I mean, Cancer, don't let a good thing pass you by because you're too scared to take it. When I know Cancers are hopeless freaking romantics. Like, come on. Very soon, call it in. It says clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Let's see what else. Stay optimistic for, about your love life. Positive thinking will bring and I can't read. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Romance. I'm gonna give you some more cards. Cause you know I like my cancer now. Okay? I didn't give anybody else these cards, so you're lucky. Alright. Let me get advice for cancers, please. Let me get advice for cancers. And then I'll give you a moonology card. This is a, a Whispers of Love Oracle for my cancers. Let me get a my cancers, please. Advice card for my cancers, please. Advice for my cancers, please. Look at that. Spiritual connection. Listen, I really don't need no oracle card, y'all. I could actually give you way more advice than I give you, but it's YouTube and I don't got all day. I got a lot of private readings. But if you ever want to talk, guys, book a reading with me, okay? We'll talk. Even if you ain't got the money, I had to price them a little bit more than everybody else because I have a lot of business. But if you just email me, I'll always give you a discount. If you think you're a counterpart and you want to talk about this counterpart stuff, let's talk okay if you think you found the yin to your yang or twin flame whatever let's talk because it's not as easy a journey as you think it is but it is achievable and it's and it's like a fast track once you get the once you get the shit down pat all right i would know because i'm definitely a counterpart myself all right so anyway i should read you this this is number 27 spiritual connection a relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime what i tell you it's a spiritual connection, a sacred union. Um, like I said, I saw the hints here, not just with the lover's card, that's a very popular card, but you gotta see things like here, I see a lot. I felt it from the minute I, um, honestly, when I meditated on your energy, I got, I was in heaven. That's where I was. And I was like, wow, this is nice. So yeah, if we are in heaven, that's, some, that's um, your your union is or, or is like ordained. You know what I mean? It's um, planned before you got on this. You have a soul tie, okay? So what do you need to release? You need to release that fear of going deep within and healing that inner child. I saw that right there. Cancer, you, you're scared to be emotional. You're scared to be emotional, but you got to get dirty in your emotions right now while you have some time before this person comes in, okay? Or if they are, while they're taking their sweet time, go ahead and heal yourself. Just go ahead and heal yourself. Google it, I don't know. Hit me up, I'll email you, I don't know. What do you need to release? Waning moon, okay, what else we have here? What else we have for cancer? Ooh, a fiery climax approaches. Full moon Aries. Okay. Wow. So, let's get you one more and then we're done. All right, there we go. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. So I told you, told you. You gotta like, um... Again, the work y'all have to do is not a lot of work, right? Like, a lot of people have to do a lot of shit when they do readings, okay? They gotta... Not to... Everybody has a different journey, okay? But I'm gonna tell you, it's like the hardest part of the journey is often the last step, right? And you're just about to break through the surface and get the life you wanted or the person type of person you wanted, all of that. Um, but you gotta do the... You gotta do the hardest part almost last, which is... You know, it's not just enough to get your 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 earthly stability, your material harvest or your well, wealth, I wouldn't say harvest, but it's not enough to just build up your, you know, financial standing and your home life and to look good. You have to actually you have to actually heal the being and the vessel that you are too. So that you don't have to keep repeating these lessons over and over again. Also, like I said, you you got it's like your your twin counterpart is like a moth to the flame, right? So you're the flame and the flame has to burn bright in order for it to come. The flame can't burn bright if it's being like, you know, snuffed out by all the cold and dark energy inside of you. So you got to get it, blow, flush it out. Well, I want to thank you guys for listening. Um, I will be back with more soon. Look out for a lot, to be honest, because we got time. All right. Bye, guys.